Kentucky's Mitch McConnell announcing he's leaving his powerful leadership role in the U.S. Senate. Through the years, as he gained leadership, he has reshaped the U.S. Supreme Court and influenced presidents. He made the announcement on the Senate floor today. Aides say McConnell's announcement was unrelated to his health. The Kentucky senator had a concussion from a fall last fall and two public episodes where his face briefly froze while he was speaking. He's 82 years old, the longest serving Senate leader in history. Believe me, I know the politics within my party at this particular moment in time. I have many faults. Misunderstanding politics is not one of them. But now it's 2024. I'm now 82. As Ecclesiastes tells us, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. To serve Kentucky in the Senate has been the honor of my life. To lead my Republican colleagues has been the highest privilege. But one of life's most underappreciated talents is to know when it's time to move on to life's next chapter. So I stand before you today, Mr. President, and my colleagues to say this will be my last term as Republican leader of the Senate. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. However, I'll complete my job my colleagues have given me until we select a new leader in November and they take the helm next January. Thank you for entrusting me with our success. It's been an honor to work with each of you There'll be plenty of time to express my gratitude in greater detail as I sprint towards the finish line, which is now in sight. Bipartisan cooperation and a string of Well, the president called to check on me. I told him I got sandbagged. Oh, no. How are you feeling now, sir? Uh, How are you feeling now? I'm fine. Have you seen a doctor? Are you going to Any see a doctor? Any idea what happened? Huh? Any idea what happened? I'm fine. That's the Dehydrated? Part. <laughs> what are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. Uh, Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Penny. have a question please speak up senator daniel cameron uh do you have a comment on daniel cameron well i think the government crisis is going to be very close uh, <clears throat> far and away the best candidate we could have nominated and uh that state has become increasingly republican in fact the government has now become a bad left so I'm optimistic that Daniel will be our next governor. Okay, I think we can do one more. Senator, what is your reaction on Trump's latest indictment? Would you support him as a nominee? It's a question about Trump. Yeah, I'm not going to comment about the, the presidential race, either, either on the Republican side or the Democratic side. Okay, so, thank you all. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you.
providing assistance for the Ukrainians to defeat the Russians. That's the number one priority for the United States right now, according to most Republicans. That's sort of how we see the th challenges confronting uh, the country at the moment. That's about as Washington, D.C. as it gets. We're up against the folks who gave you record high inflation. We're up against folks who closed schools and then told you that teachers unions know what's best for your kids. We're up against folks who'd rather let repeat offenders walk free. We're up against folks who'd rather let repeat offenders walk free. Father, time remains undefeated.